Hey there, um, got something new for you today, a brand new offering from uh, Phoenix called the Phoenix TK45. This is a whole new design. Uh, when I first heard about this, I, I was envisioning the three emitters inside one big reflector, but when I saw it, I was pleasantly surprised to see something new going on here. Uh, we actually have three different reflectors, <coughs> and it's got, <coughs> surprisingly, a really nice beam coming out of it. It's got the three Cree XPG LED R5s. Um, it's got the uh, turbo of 760 lumens, low of 8 lumens, mid 95, and high of 312. It's also got three flashing modes, uh, SOS and uh, warning flash and the strobe. Um, it's also, instead of our traditional tactical uh, button on the back here, we have a nice new uh, user interface where we have our power button and then we have how we uh, switch our uh, levels of output. So, as you can see, the light's a nice looking light. Uh, it's uh, got a very nice finish um, and it doesn't have the uh, regular uh, rough knurling uh, that a lot of lights have. It's got a nice feel to it, a nice grip, uh, a very nice finish and look to it. It takes eight AA batteries, either NIM or alkaline. And uh, well, let's get on to, uh, to showing you what it does. When you first turn it on, it comes on in the turbo. So get ready, I'm going to blind you. Oh, ah, I was wrong. Okay, I brought it on in low first. Okay, we got our low. Oh, okay. Low, medium, high, and turbo. That is done by, we turn it on with this button and we switch levels with this button. Now, to get into the flashing modes, you just double click. Okay. You just double click the uh, right button, which is the power button. It goes into SOS. danger and strobe yeah okay and to get back to normal <coughs> outputs just double click again yeah. but what what I want to show you is yes up close here you can see the three lights uh, but at a distance when I bring it back it turns it into one nice smooth beam so this is again the Phoenix TK 45 it feels nice in the hands um, it's got a battery holder, like I said, that takes eight AA batteries. They're very easy to find, very easy to get. And um, check one out. I, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. It's a nice light. Um, I was surprised myself and um, very happy to have uh, been able to test it out tonight. Uh, this is something that you can find at lightjunction.com. Um, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be talked about at uh, CPF a lot here real soon. Okay, we have the uh, TK45 out here in the garage, and we're going to show you what it looks like uh, at a distance on the white wall. Um, it's got a very beautiful beam, just showing you how dark it is out here, and now, here we go. That is on high with the TK45. What a beautiful beam. It's hard for me to believe that these three separate beams can converge like this into a beautiful, smooth, buttery, creamy beam like that. Mm, I'm tempted.